In this video, we're just going to quickly look at making use of follow actions to include a lead in or a fill or something where the beat starts a bit ahead of the bar. It doesn't have to be a beat, it can be like a vocal sample, but anything that doesn't start dead on the first beat of the first bar. So you might often have this problem when trying to work in session view. If you want to include the intro that doesn't start dead on, then you might have wondered how to do that. And this is one way of doing that, making use of the follow actions. Now I've got a fill here. Now you can hear it's sort of not really in time in any kind of way. First thing I want to do is go to the length of the loop here. And I'm going to set that to one bar. Now if you listen to this loop, it sort of sounds like it should come in on the three. So if we put the metronome on, just turn it down a little bit. So I would think, in my mind, that should go one, two, three, da da dun. So what I'm going to do is set this maybe to beat four. So or no, actually, it would need to go back here probably. And in fact, I might actually drag that over so that it starts on that third beat. No, actually, I think it was better where it was. might even be a slightly early. Let's give that a go anyway. So what we're going to actually do is set the follow action to next and that should automatically, so long as these two are next to each other, that should allow us to lead in. Of course, I've still got these set from the last video. I'm going to turn those off. Yeah, I still think that's a little bit early. I might just try. Try now. That sounds a bit better. So you can see what I'm getting at there anyway. Sometimes you may need to actually start a little bit more on an offbeat. And you could even, you know, put the start marker anywhere until it sounds right. See at the moment that the beat is actually starting here and not on the one. So that's why I can get away with having that start marker there. But that's really the way to approach it. So that means that if you're playing your live set, you can trigger that clip there. And you don't have to worry about getting it in time. And likewise, you can do the same thing if you have an intro in a clip. So say it's more of a DJ type set where it's a long full length clip and it just has an intro at the beginning, then just duplicate the clip. So actually if I drag these down, you just hold it, hold option, or I think it's control on PC, and make two copies. And then in the first one, include your intro there, just leave enough of a gap. So have it start on the one and just play the intro bit and then have the second one start on the beat. And that's just a nice simple way of making sure that the second clip is playing on all the ones and twos and threes so that you always know where you are. Because you could of course just drag the sample and have it play from an earlier part, but sometimes it might actually just end up confusing you because you aren't entirely sure where it starts. All the bars and beats are then in different places. So anyway, that's one way of approaching it. 